So first we will prepare the client. Once they go onto the couch, we'll remove any jewelry and make sure that they're comfortable. After this, we will shave the area to make sure that there is no hair coming out the hair follicle. The reason why that we shave the area is because we want to ensure that the client gets the best result by the laser beam penetrating deep into the follicle and also it makes it more comfortable for the client as the laser beam will penetrate deeper into the skin rather than sitting superficial on the surface. After shaving the area, we will use a white pencil to mark up our area. The reason why that we use a white pencil is to ensure that the laser isn't going to attract any pigment in the pencil. The reason why that we also mark up the area is to make sure that we cover the area properly, safely and effectively. After we've used the white pencil to mark up the area, we will then put the settings into the machine on what's correct to use on the client. We tend to set the settings on the machine by their skin colour and by the hair that we are treating. Next we apply gel to the area. Not all laser machines require gel, but as we are using this handpiece on the skin, we do need to use the gel to be able to get the glide, but it also ensures that we keep in the area nice and cool. After we have put the settings in the machine, we will then give the client their goggles and we will put our goggles on before we take the machine off standby and when it's ready to go. Once the client and the therapist is both wearing their goggles and everything is all ready to go, we'll then pick the handpiece up, we'll wrap the strap around the hand as a safety protocol to ensure that we do not drop the handpiece. And then we will apply the handpiece against the client's skin and checking to make sure that the settings are correct, we can then take the machine off standby. As we are doing the laser treatment, we need to ensure that there is good pressure on the skin. Some machines do not require you to hold the handpiece against the skin, but the machine that we are using today, you need to hold this against the skin. When you are doing your laser treatment, you need to ensure that there is a 10% overlap between each of the shots. If you do the shots too close together, then you're at risk of burning the client. And if you do them too far apart, then you're at risk of not doing an effective treatment and that it will leave patches of hair. We need to ensure that the handpiece is on the skin at all times. If the handpiece is removed from the skin whilst it is in action, there is risk of the light attracting to the pigment on the surface of the skin and causing adverse reactions. Once we have completed the treatment, we need to put the machine back on standby. This will ensure that all safety protocols have been met. Once the machine is on standby, you can then remove the goggles. After the goggles have been removed, you can then remove the gel, use a wipe to take off the white pencil and apply aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is very good for calming down any redness and any follicular swelling on the skin. It's also very soothing, very calming and an anti-inflammatory. If you are lasering areas which are potentially in the sun, you will need to apply an SPF to the area to ensure that there is protection. After the treatment has been completed and the client is ready, you will then give them all of their aftercare advice and ensure that any correct signatures and pictures are in place before that they leave.